In this tutorial, you learn how to use this analog joystick with the Arduino Uno. This joystick is called KY023 and it features an X axis from left to right as well as an Y axis from top to down. In addition, it has a button functionality. This means you can press down the joystick and read its state whether it's pressed down or not. Next you learn how to connect the analog joystick to the Arduino. So the analog joystick has five pins. We start with the ground, which we connect to the Arduino's ground. So it doesn't matter which one. Then we have a pin for the five volt voltage supply, which we connect also to the Arduino's 5 volt voltage supply. The next pin is the VRX pin, which we connect to one of the analog pins. So I will use analog pin zero. So what it means is if we move the joystick to the left, we get a value of zero. And if we move it to the right, then we will get a value of 1023. The same applies to VRY, which represents the y-axis. So I will connect it to the analog pin number one of the Arduino. And what it means then, if we move the joystick to the top, we will read zero. And if we move the joystick down, then we will get a value of 1023. And lastly, we have our SW pin, which represents the button state. So if we press down the pin, we will receive a value of zero. And if, if we do not press down the joystick, we will receive a value of one. And I will connect this pin to digital pin number two of the Arduino. So that's it. So this is the fritzing file of our setup. What you see here is the Arduino Uno. Here's the analog joystick. And we just connected the ground pin of the joystick to the ground pin of the Arduino. We connected the 5 volt voltage supply. The VRX pin of the analog joystick was connected to the analog pin of the Arduino. The YRY pin was connected to the analog pin number 1 of the Arduino. And then we connected the SW pin of the joystick to digital pin number two of the Arduino. So this is our code. We start with three variables, which represent our inputs, two for the analog inputs and one digital input, which is used for the button functionality. Then we have three variables to store the values from the analog joystick, two variables to store the x and y axis values of the joystick, and one variable to store the button state. In the setup function, we set the pin mode of the analog pins to input, and we set the pin mode of the button pin to input pull up. Then we begin a serial connection for debugging reasons. So later we want to print out the x and the y axis values as well as the button state to the console. In the loop function we start with reading the x value and then next we read the y value of the joystick. Then we read the button state. Here 1 means the button is not pressed and 0 means the button is pressed. Then we print out all these values and in the end we add a delay of one second, which is used only for debugging reasons, so it's easier to follow the output of the console. 
Okay, so let's try it out. I upload the code to the Arduino and start a serial monitor. If I take the joystick and press it to the left, X goes to zero. And if I press it to the right, X goes to 1023. If I press the joystick forward, Y is zero. And if I press the joystick backward, then Y is 1023. Now I will press the button and not pressed is now zero. And if I don't press the button, not pressed is one. Okay, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.